In this video of AZ104 prep series, we are going to take a few questions on Azure Active Directory and a couple of questions on other topics. A quick update, Azure Active Directory is now replaced by Microsoft Entra. So friends, I'm working on collecting questions on Microsoft Entra and will publish soon. But for now, if you're targeting the AZ104 exam in the near future, then let's get started. So let's begin the part 18 with question number 116. So first of all, let's understand some of the instructions given in the question. Here you can read the question is saying that this question is included in a number of questions that depicts the identical setup. However, every question has a distinctive result and we have to establish if the solution satisfies the requirement. So basically in these kind of questions, you will be presented with multiple questions. Questions will be exactly the same. However, the solutions given in the questions will be different. And of course, you have to pick the correct solution. So let's read the question first. Here you can see the question is saying that your company has an Azure Active Directory tenant named Wayland.com that is configured for the hybrid coexistence with the on-premises Active Directory domain. And yes, my friends, as I said in the introduction part that Microsoft Azure Active Directory is now replaced with Microsoft Entra. And soon I will publish the questions on the same that you have a server named DIR Sync 1 that is configured as a DIR Sync server and you have to create a new user account in the on-premises Active Directory. Now you need to replicate the user information to Azure AD immediately. And the solution given is that you use Azure Active Directory sites and services to force replication of global catalog on a domain controller. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? So what do you think my friends? This solution meet the goal? Well, for now, this is an incorrect solution. That's why no is the correct answer. And friends, in these kind of questions, you have to be very careful. You read the question, take your time and understand the solution. Read the question with me, understand the solution and then try to give the answer prior to the answer that I reveal and then match off your answer. Now friends, based on the various sources, I have collected multiple variations of this question. So let's check out all of the variations and yes, I will tell you the correct answer and also give you the Microsoft documentation to validate the answer. So here comes the next variation of the question. Question number 117 question exactly is the same. Let's read the solution. This time the solution is saying that you run the start AD sync sync cycle dash policy type initial PowerShell CM delete. Does this meet the goal? Yes or no? Well, my friends, this is also incorrect solution. That's why no is the correct answer. Moving on with the third variation of the same question. This time the solution is saying that you run start AD sync sync cycle dash policy type delta PowerShell CM delete. Does this solution beat the goal? Yes or no? And this time also my friends, this is an incorrect solution. Is that what you thought of? Well, that is not the case this time my friends. This is the correct solution and that's why yes is the correct answer. So let me give you a few more details on this question so that you can understand the answer properly. See, technically all the previous solution that we saw in the previous questions will also work. But in case you paid a closer attention while I was going through the question, you must have noticed this bold line. So this bold line is saying that you now need to replicate the user information to Azure AD immediately. So this immediately word is the key word here. See, it's very important to understand that the sync process can take time due to the size or based on the last time it ran. So that's why my friends, instead of waiting for the sync process to run on the next scheduled time, you can manually run the sync process. Now let's validate our answer on Microsoft documentation. So this is the relevant documentation as I said already couple of times that Microsoft Azure Active Directory is now changed to Microsoft Entra. So here you can read in this section, you can actually read more about the Entra in this documentation. But the section where I want your focus is this one. So here you can read the section says full sync cycle. A full sync cycle includes the following step full import on all the connectors. Then we have full sync on all the connectors and lastly export on all the connectors. So here you can read all the documentation, but here I want to focus on these two commands given here that you can see here. And here you can read if you need to manually run a sync cycle, then from the PowerShell run, you can use this command. And this is the same command that we also picked as an answer. 
So that's why solution given in the question number 118 is the correct answer. Moving on with the next question, question number 119, it says that you have an Azure subscription. Now in the Azure portal, you plan to create a storage account named storage one that will have the following settings. Here the settings are given. You can read the performance should be standard. The replication should be set to zone redundant storage or ZRS. Then the access tier should be cool. Okay, so here I want to give you some homework. Let me know in the comment section, how many types of access tiers do we have in the Azure storage accounts? Moving on, we have hierarchical namespace, which is disabled. Now you need to ensure that you can set the account kind for storage one to block blob storage. Which setting should you modify first? Your options given are performance, option B, replication, option C, access tier, and option D, hierarchical namespace. And the correct answer, my friends, is option A, performance. Now, let me give you some Microsoft documentation to validate the answer. So, friends, this is the documentation that you can use to validate the answer. This is the specific table that you can use to cross-check all the settings given in the question and then come up with the right answer. But to help you, let me summarize this for you. For that, we have come back to the question so that you can see all of the settings in front of your eyes. So, first of all, my friends, you have to understand that the Blog Blob storage account is specialized for storing Blog Blobs and a and blocks and also this kind of storage account is optimized for high transaction rate now coming to the settings part here you can see that the performance is set to standard which is not compatible with the block blob storage account therefore you should modify the performance you need to set it to premium to be able to select the block blob storage as the account kind so that's why performance is the right answer. And as always, my friends, the links to all the documentation is right there in the description box. Moving on with the next question. Question number 120 says that you administer a solution in Azure that is currently having performance issues. Now you need to find the cause of these performance issues pertaining to the matrix on the Azure infrastructure. Which of the following is the tool that you should use? Your options are Azure Traffic Analytics. The second option is Azure Monitor. The third option is Azure Activity Log. And lastly, Azure Advisor. So which of these you would use so that you can find the cause of the performance issues pertaining to the matrix on the Azure infrastructure? And the correct answer for this question is option B, Azure Monitor. So friends, keep in mind that metrics in Azure Monitor are stored in a time series database, which is optimized for analyzing timestamp data. And this makes metrics particularly suited for alerting and fast detection of issues. And now let's read some Microsoft documentation so that we understand the concept better. And just to tell you, my friends, there can be a lot of questions on Azure Monitor, Azure Activity Log, Azure Advisor, Traffic Analytics in AZ-104 exam. So please understand about all these tools and really try to understand the use cases where exactly would you use all these tools because the question, the statement would be very close and you would be really confused which tool to pick. And of course, we will take a lot of questions in the upcoming series as well to understand all these tools. But for now, let's concentrate on Azure Monitor. Here you can see that it says that in today's complex computing environment, we collect a lot of deep insights on the data and consolidate it with the perspective so that we can support the range of stakeholders in your organization. So these days, my friends, we have multi-layered architecture and each layer or each component of the entire solution is producing a lot of logs that we have to monitor. And that's where Azure Monitor comes into the picture. Here you can see that there can be multiple data sources for the Azure Monitor. Here you can see that Azure Monitor and you can have multiple data sources. For example, you can have apps, workloads, infrastructure, Azure platform, custom sources. So basically the custom sources, which are apart from these three given here. And here you can see that Azure monitor can have metrics. It can also have logs, traces and all the other changes. And what can you actually do with the Azure monitor on all these logs and metrics and traces? You can actually drive some insights from all these logs and metrics. You can visualize them. You can analyze them and respond accordingly. So these kind of metrics, these kind of logs really helps the business decisions upon management and other stakeholders. So here, as you can read that the Azure monitor collects and aggregates data from various sources in a common data platform which can be used to analyze visualization and alerting. It provides a consistent experience on the top of the data from multiple sources and you can gain deep insights across all your monitor resources and even with the data from other services that store their data in Azure Monitor. So a really useful tool that you can use in any of your solution on Microsoft Azure. So those were some interesting questions in part 18. In case my friends, you have some more questions or maybe some latest questions coming up in your mind or you have seen in the examination, 
please do let us know so that we can help the overall community at a large and of course in case you have some feedback some doubts let me know in the comment section or you can also email us at connect us at the rate the tech blackboard.com that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching